probably why I, lo- I, I love guys like you, uh, just because we're all kind of in this this same weird world. Um, no, I, I, I think uh, th- there was a lot of insecurity. I think, you know, I mean, to be honest, I probably would have wrote more fiction before I wrote nonfiction if, if I felt like I had permission to, which okay. sounds really strange. And I don't know who I was looking for permission from. <laughs> but um, but I think sometimes in, in the you know faith communities in the world, you feel like I, I can't tell an honest story. It's got to be uh, you know, Christian, Christianese and Christian fiction and nice and neat and everybody gets saved in the end. And right. you know, the, bad, the bad guys always get killed and the good guys win and that kind of stuff. And, and I just, I didn't really read a lot of that like that. And in the stuff I did, I just, I had like good intention ants that were like, Hey, you know, read this Christian novel or listen to this Christian r- rapper, you know, and you're just like, Oh, if this is your music, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just, you know, threw the, this is back in tapes, you know, threw the tape yeah. across the wall against the wall. Um, and so I, I think, uh, you know, there, there's just this, this desire to, because I, I'd read like, oh man, C.S. Lewis and, and Tolkien, you know, over the years and read, uh, you know, Graham Greene and some of these guys that were, you know, uh, faith guys and Christians and, and, um, you know, who else? I read? Um, I'm trying to think, uh, the short story artist, I'm totally blanking on her name. Um, short story writer, um, back in the day and you know and th- they're writing from a faith perspective but they're writing these really honest you know kind of gritty stories mm-hmm. and and i started reading even c.s lewis him talking about storytelling and i was surprised by what he was saying and he would say things like you know the the, the job of the storyteller is just first to tell a good story and and that really just struck me as that's the goal it's not to try to you know propagandize people or get some moral thing in there it's really just tell the story that you need to tell and and you know and i and i think your worldview will come through in that and i think your values will come through that of course but um but you know it's what's weird is like i was i resonated with stephen king because i felt like i didn't know his background but i mean he he felt like he must be a christian because he talks like a christian he writes like a christian i mean yeah he has really dark stories but like there's always faith elements in there there's grappling with good and evil um you know you know, regardless of what you think. And then you read his website and it's like, yeah, he still reads the Bible and he, you know, had a Methodist background and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I realized it's like, yeah, it's like this Christ haunted kind of writing that you just can't get away with. Cause, cause when you're dealing with, with, with good and evil, that's just part of our faith and part of our story. And so, um, and so again, from a <laughs> quote unquote branding, uh, career, I, I mean, I took, I'm, t- I've taken the worst path possible <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm trying to make it as confusing as possible for people that want to find my <laughs> books. Like, Wait, is pastor, what's going on here? You know, people die in his books, you know? Um, and, and so again on that, but I, you know, that, that's just me. And I don't, I don't try to worry about that. I, I think, again, I think the, the most important thing is to, you know, write the next book, tell the story you need to tell and just see where it lands. And it's going to resonate with some people. And, um, you know, and there's people that know me from my nonfiction stuff only and only from my fiction stuff. And it's mm-hmm. just, I just, I try not to like obsess over that. And I think that's probably with age too. Um, it's just let it be what it needs to be. Um, and then what's, what's fun is that I've connected with so many Christians that are just going, man, I, I want to tell these stories, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to write the next, you know, um, Amish romance, you know, book. <laughs> um, I've go straight you know, a few of those too. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, they just, they sit, they literally I've met people in Kansas city. Like, can we have coffee and talk about this? Cause I feel like, you know, you're doing what I want to do. And I don't, you know, I don't even want to, I don't want anyone to know I'm even here. You know, it's kind of stuff. Right. I'm just like, it's kind of crazy. Um, so, um, so yeah, I think just, just kind of watching other people that have kind of, you know, in the same, I don't, I don't call it a struggle anymore, but you know, what does this look like? You feel like you want to write some nonfiction. Great. You want to fi- write fiction. You want to do both. I mean, fine. But, you know, all the advice is always you got to be one thing and it's all about brand and it's all about, right. you know, I'm like, I mean, there's a reason Stephen King writes a lot of different books is because he's just people just like his stories. 